tutorial in learning how to use the TI-83 Plus graphing calculator. Today we're going to learn how to use our calculator to calculate the standard deviation of the following set of data. You can see it right here. We, need these. we want to calculate the standard deviation of these numbers. The steps we're about to follow should work for pretty much any Texas Instrument 80 for instance, TI-84. I know, I know the steps we're going to use will work on the TI-84 plus silver. And hopefully any other TI-80s it will work for. Alright, first thing we've got to do is enter the data into the calculator. So, you go to STAT. And what we want to do is edit a, uh, a list. We're just going to enter the information to a list. So luckily, it, what we need highlighted already is highlighted. We need to edit a list, so we just hit enter. And we're just going to type in these numbers. 50, 20, 33, 40, 55. Right, so we now have <coughs> we now have our data in a list. And the next thing that we want to do is go to STAT. And now we go over to CALC. And, and, you, and again, what we want highlighted is we're not doing any regressions. We're going to do the standard deviation. So you just hit enter because we want one var stats. Notice we only entered information into one list. If we had had two lists, we might need to use two var stats. But you just use one var stats for a standard deviation. Enter. One var stats. Then all, this is very simple. All we hit is second and L1 because all of our data is in L1. Hit enter, and here's all the information we need. Um, <coughs> for us, this uh, for most people, this is the, uh, the most important number. If, if you're trying to find the standard deviation, you usually want this one, which represents the population standard deviation. And that's it. We found the standard deviation. You uh, just enter it and again, just real real quickly. You enter the numbers here into a list. You go to the uh, one of our stats, L1, enter, you're good.